Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am back with a look around Poundland and I've also got a Poundland haul for you. So I picked up a few bits while I was in store, but I was really excited to film this video because they've got some fab stuff in for Halloween. So I wanted to get this one up as soon as possible with Halloween around the corner. They've also got some Christmas bits in store that are brilliant, some brand new stuff. And Pumpkin, what are you doing? <laughs> Pumpkin wants to get involved with the haul. We're not showing them all the bits we bought until after the look around in store. So let's jump into that now and we'll have a look around Poundland, see what is new, and then I'll meet you back here for a look at everything that I picked up. Okay, let's go in. I'd say this is a medium-sized Poundland. They come in different sizes, don't they? And as we can see, we've got Halloween in store from £1.50. Oh, it's not from £1. Crikey. That's more like it. Let's grab a basket and do one that I don't have to carry so that I can show you things. So first things first, I want to show you all of the Halloween bits. I really like these loot bags for £1.50. What have we got here? Spiders webs for a pound. These are pretty good decorations for £1. There's quite a lot of detail on that. Spooky skulls. Then we've got these cloches. Is that how you say it? Yeah, cloche for three pounds and those light up. The candles are back this year. They do them in gold and um, orange. And those are one pound 50. I think they've gone up by 50p. The posable spiders for one pound. Good for costumes and things like that. And then we've got various... Oh, these are cool. Googly eyes. Are these... These are massive, look at the size of them. So what have they stuck those onto? I guess you put them on like a tree or a bush. Those are great fun for two pounds. Sorry, I'm struggling with my hands. We've got the tea lights for a pound each and then the little Halloween gonks. Those are two pounds each, that's pretty good. And we've got pumpkin carving kits for one pound and outdoor inflatable decorations for 12 quid. That's pretty good, isn't it? They usually, I've seen them like 20 pounds plus at places like Lidl and Aldi. So good that you can pick them up for 12 pounds. Got the creepy masks in store. These are a pound each, which is pretty good going. And then we've got ceramic pumpkins for one pound 50. Light up spider web for a fiver. We've got men's socks for two pounds for three pack. That's pretty good. I might try these, see how I get on with them. They've got lots of kind of gift sets and bath stuff. These are new, I think. Haven't seen those before. That is one pound for cinnamon and ginger. Star fizzer. Oops. Crikey. That's very sweet, isn't it? It jumped out at me. It wanted to be on the vlog. <laughs> this is two pounds fifty for that soap on a sleigh. That would make a lovely gift in winter berries. I'm gonna give it a sniff for you. I can't smell anything through the packaging, but yeah, very cute. This is good for two pounds, a tiny little mirror. And they do them in gold as well. They've got 100 mil of Colgate for one pound. That's pretty good going, isn't it? Let's see what else we've got. Listerine for one pound. I feel like that's quite good value, 250 mils. It's not a huge one, but usually that's pretty pricey, isn't it? They've got lots of Halloween sweets. I think these are one pound. So they've got lollipops, super sour lollies. We've got these squidgy eyeballs and they're individually wrapped, which is pretty good for trick or treaters. Then we've got these, that's good. The old school Swizzler sweets for one pound. So you've got drumsticks, refreshers, I haven't heard of a fudgy before, <laughs> Mr. Chewy. We have these pinballs as well. These Pringles are one pound and they're kind of like an in-between size, unless the tub's just a bit bigger. No, they do feel bigger than the snack size pots. That's kind of my size snack pot. I mean, actually, let's be real. I would have the full size pot as a snack. <laughs> Once you pop, you can't stop. This is good for one pound 25. Muscle soak by Radox, bath salts. And some more sweets. They've got these boo mallows, like marshmallow ghost shapes. And what have we got here? Little candy sticks in boxes. 30 individual packs. 
a fruit flavor candy stick, it's good for one pound. They've got these strawberry and banana shampoo and conditioners. I think these are meant to be pretty good going and vegan friendly. I'm gonna get the banana one. These remind me of the old school body shop fragrances. So yeah, I'm gonna go for that. You know I love my bananas. They've got simple shampoo and conditioner for one pound as well, which is good. They've got some branded bits here. Some things they've got like Pantene. Uh, for £2.50. I feel like these prices are pretty competitive. I can imagine that being quite a lot more in somewhere like Boots. I'm not that familiar with them. They've also got these shampoo and conditioner bars if you wanted to switch to those and those are £1 each. I always like to see what different scents they have for hand wash. They've got Comfort Bottled. That sounds interesting. Don't know why that appeals to me. Magnolia and almond milk, I bet that's a good one. And then we've got Marshmallow Skies, which is faux malicious marshmallow limited edition. And these are good for one pound. They're pretty big. How much are those? 600 mil. I have to say it's pretty well stocked in here. Sometimes you come in and it's not so well stocked, but yeah, it's looking good. I do like a Lynx shower gel as well. That's pretty good, isn't it? Is that the five in one? Yeah, two pounds. Body, face, hair, shave, and moisturize. And that is 400 mil. I use this deodorant, in case you were wondering. Either of those, pretty good for a quid. I don't know why you would be wondering about what deodorant I use, but I do talk about sweating a lot, especially when I'm in shops. <laughs> so let's see what we've got here. We've got our paracetamols. Good price for Nurofen, I think. Eight, eight for one pound. And we've got our Lemsip. I'm gonna pick up some of these because it is the season, isn't it? Got different hair dyes in here for three pounds. Dry shampoo, three pounds fifty. We've got all the hair accessories. If you're into that kind of thing, they are starting at one pound. And also, yeah, look at all those bobbles for a quid. That's good, isn't it? Let's have a look at this brand. I've not seen this before. Millions and millions, and these are one pound. I always take these in my water bottle. This must be their vitamin range. They've got all sorts for around two pounds. And this one. That's good, isn't it? Gummies, vitamin D3, good for this time of year, £3.50. Elastoplast plasters for £1. Those look like good quality ones. You get eight. What else have we got? First aid section. Oh, what's that down there? Bath soak. That's a nice bottle, isn't it? That's £4. Looks quite fancy. Kind of randomly placed down here with the heel balm, <laughs> which is a quid. While I'm down here though, there's another brand, isn't there, that does all this kind of stuff and it's so much more expensive. So for one pound, you've got some good options there if you've got some uncomfortable shoes. You've got some Lush style products here. The packaging is very similar, isn't it? These kind of black tubs. Um, smooth, very smooth winter berry foaming salt scrub. That sounds nice got different colours in there for £1.50 and then we have exfoliating cubes for £1. These would be nice to put together in a hamper for a Christmas present, wouldn't they? And then we've got these diamond pizza with salts. I think that's just like an individual bath bomb for £1.50. And they've also got face masks for £2. That really reminds me of Lush. This is mouldable soap. It reminds me of those, what those things that Lush do that you run under the tap? They call, they're called, um, Oh, I've forgotten. Do you know what I mean? You run it under the tap and it, it foams up. Anyway, <laughs> reminds me of that. And then we've got different masks, um, bath jelly, and strawberry shower gel. I've used this one and I didn't get on with it. I felt like I was just pouring cooking oil over myself. I mean, nice smelling cooking oil, but yeah, in the shower it just wasn't working for me with the oil in it didn't feel like I was enjoying using it. it, just felt very slippery. We've got reading glasses here, so this has got like plus 150 strength for one pound and they're quite stylish aren't they? We've also got um, like sunglass ver sunglasses versions of them, how do you say that, like tinted versions I suppose, 
And then we've got, what's this? Blue light blocking for three pounds. If you're using a computer a lot, that can be good. Then we've got glasses cases for one pound 50. Got honey and almond. What's that foot pack it says, but this is a face mask. And all sorts of foot packs, face masks in here. Got a cosmetic bag set for four pounds. That's quite good value. I like clear containers like this so you can see what's in them. And that's quite jazzy, isn't it? You could take that on a night out. So we have the Jess Wright hair accessories here. So they've got loads of different hair clips, all at two pounds. And things like eyelashes, nails, all kinds of things. The face and body mist in lavender and rosemary. That sounds nice. These look quite nice, don't they? Body polish in lavender and rosemary. I found another one of those nice bottles, and this is bath oil, white flowers, and this is glass. Doesn't say the price, but yeah, looks like nice quality. Let's have a look at some of the cleaning stuff. I don't know about the music in here. I hope it's not too loud for you. Got loads of different Fabulosa fragrances out, which I haven't seen before. Number six, so I think this is like a dupe of the Boots range, and they do makeup brushes for three pounds, which is pretty good going, but obviously don't know what the um, quality's like. I guess um, something you'd have to test out, and they've got cheaper ones for one pound. They've got Frozen 2 sticker box for six pounds. I really want to see Frozen the musical. Hopefully I'll be going soon. And what's this pizza garden? That looks cool. Oh, I think it is to actually grow different herbs. Not sure of the price. I think that is three pounds. That's a nice gift. This could be a nice stocking filler. Bath time gooey slime fizzer. Fizzes and turns to slime for messy bath time play. I've also got a mess set for uh, Fiverr. Is it? I think some of these, hmm, no, I don't think that's correct. That's a pound though. <laughs> some of the pricing isn't quite lined up here. They have got thermal gloves for two pounds. I feel like we are all gonna be wearing those indoors this year at this rate. We've got touchscreen ones as well. That's handy, isn't it? So you can use your phone. And we've got two packs of women's gloves for a pound. That's good. We have Searsucker duvet cover set. So 16 pounds for a king size. That's good, isn't it? And then we have this waffle design as well. I think these are very stylish, you know, for 16 quid for a king size. I think that's fab. We've got some gray as well. And then we've got geometric prints. This is interesting. This is three pounds, is it? Oh, the, that says overdoor hooks. I'm gonna guess that is potentially a pound, you would hope. Sometimes on the back, it has a price if it's more than one pound. So I think that probably would be a quid. And it's string lights, um, storage reel. So that's good, isn't it? To wrap your Christmas lights up on. I mean, you can just use the lid of a shoe box or, you know, a coat hanger, but you know, if you want the actual official thing for it, could save you a lot of hassle when you get them out the following year. I really like these string lights for four pounds. Seems like quite a lot, but I guess you have got the leaf design on there. And we've got these candelabras metal for three pounds for Halloween. And then we've also got, oh, some random little succulents and things. Then we've got little cauldron candles for one pound 50. They've got the Hocus Pocus um, candles in here for two pounds in different designs. These are quite cool, the tea light holders for three pounds. Hocus Pocus candles for two. These are the LED ones. Oh, we've got tea light packs for one pound. I'm gonna grab some of those. And then we've got the Hocus Pocus pumpkins. These are a great size for three quid. Got um, three different designs as well. I've just found these tea lights for um, one pound as well. And it's a 24 pack. Now I think, they look the same, so I'm gonna go for these. <laughs> it's worth shopping around always, depending even whatever store, store you're in. It's worth seeing if there's a different product in the same store, sometimes you'll find it cheaper. They've got some scented candles for one pound, pillar style, that's quite nice. They've also got these scented oils for one pound for a two pack, which is good. And then they've also got scented wax melts for one pound. Christmas has arrived in store and they've got some really nice mugs for two pounds each. We've got these Santa ones. This is my favorite one. I'm definitely gonna take this home with me for two pounds. How cute is that snowman? They've also got the Christmas pudding design and then they've got Halloween ones like the cauldron ghost and pumpkin for two pounds each. And then we've got hocus pocus ones for three pounds each. 
another Monday it makes me sick. We've got these wireless charge alarm clocks for eight pounds, which I think is really good. And also I've spotted these wireless mouse um, for three quid. That's really good if you were needing to replace one for your Mac, that could save you a fortune. They've got all these different potion bottles for Halloween displays for three pounds each. And they're a good size, aren't they? I feel like they'd be a bit more in home sense or somewhere like that. Then we have these really nice latte glasses for two pounds each. I like this one that says Witch's Brew. And then we have the Hocus Pocus glasses for two pounds each. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry about the music, guys. I hope um, you can hear okay. They've got these ceramic casserole dishes for six pounds in two different colors. If you're looking to label things in your home, you've got these decals for one pound for a pack, which is pretty good. And then you've got these white clean chalkboard ones for one pound. They come with little chalks. This is one pound for this quicker chips uh, mesh and I used this for a DIY which you might remember. Some of you might have been around when I screwed a pizza dish to my table doing a DIY. These are three pounds and they've got oven trays for a pound. It's always worth checking the books in here. They usually have hardbacks for around three pounds and then lots of paperbacks are usually a pound in here and children's books too. We've got these Mr Men colouring books for I think those are one pound. If you're looking to do some handmade cards, they do these for one pound, I think they are, and you get 10 uh, white cards and envelopes. Got all sorts of um, paint and palettes as well in here. Lots of it's for just one pound in good brands, as you can see. Water brushes. Hmm. These mini canvas easels are 50p, and you can get a little canvas as well for 50p. How cute is that? Just do a tiny little painting on there. They've got Finnish dishwasher tablets, 10 for one pound. I'm gonna get these because there's lots of things you can do with them when you're cleaning your home. I don't have a dishwasher, but these are fantastic for cleaning your oven door with. You just dip them in some water and all the grease and grime melts away. So 10 for one pound. Each time you clean your oven, you just need one of these. Just working out 10p per oven clean, definitely cheaper than buying oven cleaner. They've got Kleenex for one pound, and they've also got all of these. I think these are, yeah, one pound. I'm gonna grab some of those. Cold and flu season is upon us. Oh, actually, I've just spied these. Kleenex balsam, even better. I haven't seen this before. This is washing machine cleaner, five in one antibacterial from Dettol for three pounds. I mean, you can just throw in some white vinegar and bicarb, but yeah, if you wanted like a nice straightforward option, that could be a good shout. This is, yeah, three pounds. That's good for a mop bucket, pretty sturdy. We've got these bins for one pound fifty. These brushes are quite nice for a pound, aren't they? Got these bamboo style ones, good value. Got laundry gel in here, 33 washes for one pound fifty. That sounds like good value. And, you know, I'm sure it's probably okay. I haven't tried this one, I don't think. But um, yeah, for that price, that sounds pretty good. They've got the dish matics, and they've also got a bath matic. Duo clean sponge, your bathroom friend. So it wipes and cleans. Oh, now we're talking. Look at that. <laughs> it's a Pringles cracker. You've got all the flavors in there. Which is your favorite? I'm gonna rank them quickly. I would say that's my number one. Hmm. Actually, I think they're in my favorite order. These, I think maybe could be second, but they kind of take the roof of your mouth off, don't they? So I'd say that's definitely my favorite. Maybe that's second, third, fourth, or maybe, yeah, first, second, third, fourth, depending on my mood. Hmm. <laughs> I'm torn. You put all the batteries in store. Pretty good value in here. You can pick up a pack for one pound of Kodaks. They've also got bumper packs for two pounds. It works out at about nine or 10p per battery. Christmas is creeping into store. And some of the decorations do sell out quite quickly. These are very nice. Furry baubles for £1.50. Although it does look slightly like something you'd see on I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. I'm thinking belonging to a kangaroo. <laughs> Let's not go there. Um, how much is that one? I think these are £1.52. A lot of detail in that. It's quite a nice little ornament for all year round. And these are really nice. These mirrored ones for £1. I love these too. They're just simple paper snowflakes that you can hang in your windows. Then we've got little decorations to use in wreaths or present wrapping, clear baubles to craft with. 
all the Christmas sweets coming into store, two for two pounds. Oh, after eight of these, after eight chocolate bites, how much are we getting in the gram department? 80 grams, so not the best value. I like to get 100 grams for my pound, but it's not always that easy these days. Got um, Reese's as well. Anything but ordinary. I just read that as anything but dairy, but yeah, anything but ordinary. Um, Harry Bows. Yeah, good mix and match though, aren't they? Then we've got calendars. Oh, a Kinder calendar for £3.50. Snowballs, Maltesers mint reindeers, which are hiding. Got some random Halloween snacks in amongst it all. More Halloween around here. Those skull plates down there are quite nice. I think they're four pounds each, if I remember correctly. Then we have the bowls for two pounds and glasses for two pounds. And these little storage jars for three pounds. I'm not sure why you would want a Halloween storage jar. <laughs> I mean, I love my Halloween decoration, but some things I think are just slightly excessive. Ah, oh, look at this. That's good, for two quid. You've got a tail and a mask. I feel like I want to buy that to wear <laughs> with the cats. Oh my goodness, I'm turning into such a crazy cat dad, I know. That's a good decoration for two pounds, this hanging chandelier, 3D style. We have Christmas stress balls. Take the stress out of Christmas with those. Gift tags, we've got all sorts of gift wrap bits, the bottle brush trees, little ornaments for a fiver, that seems quite steep. Oh, it says Christmas jar. I think the pricing's just in the wrong place. Inflatable for one pound, they're good fun. Crafty bits if you're doing some wreaths and things. What are these? I haven't seen these before. Oh, these are placemats in a Christmas tree design. Got paper plates. This is a light up stag head for a tenner. And you may have seen recently I did some DIYs and I used one of these. These are three pounds now. They were two quid in the summer, so prices can vary, but yeah, for three quid, that's still pretty good going. And I turned it into Fortnum and Masons. I'm gonna take you to Fortnum soon for a little browse around. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here for weekly videos. I think these might be the storage jars for a fiver. Quite a nice Christmas tree design. We've got these teacup and sock sets for three pounds. And this is sweet, Christmas tree mug. I thought these candle sets look nice for three pounds. We've got different festive scents. So we've got fir tree, pine, eucalyptus and balsam. They're all the same though, that's the only thing. It'd be quite nice if they were varied. Then we've got winter spice, but nice little gifts for three pounds in box candles too. And we've got these hand warmers. How do those work? We've also got a very sweet little hot water bottle. It's quite small, but for a fiver, that's a nice gift. And then we've got these glass sand timers for four pounds and a journal here for three pounds, I think that is. Naughty Elf on the shelf. They've got these wreath bases for one pound. Various ornaments for a pound as well. Good to see that there's still some one pound items in here. That's cute. And more decorations. Got the Cinderella pumpkin coach there. Oh, that's a nice one. How about that? Ooh, very fancy. One pound fifty. I like that. That reminds me of Frozen. I haven't seen these ones before, these birds. Those are one pound fifty for the hummingbirds. Very nice. And this peacock style one for £1.52. Got these Halloween cauldrons. Not sure about the price for those, but it's quite interesting. And then we've got these different signs from £1. I think those ones are a quid. And then we've got £2 for these. And big pumpkin for £6. We've got the LED glass pumpkins for £8. These used to be sold individually. Oh, they're a bit different though. They look quite sturdy. We've got these projectors that are outside for 12 quid. This is a good, good size, isn't it? For eight pounds. Some fantastic stuff for Halloween. We've got those Hocus Pocus fingers over there, but I can't get to them because there's a trolley <laughs> in the way. What's this? 
Ooh, headband. That's good fun for two quid. Loads of Halloween dressing up bits. You've got these masks for a pound and capes for a pound. So there's some pretty good value bits in here. You can mix and match. And these little characters, nutcrackers, are two pounds each, like the cat ones, little pumpkin head. These masks are so creepy for one pound. Oh, that's fun. I feel like we could pop that on one of the kittens. <laughs> Not on the head though, it'd have to go on the body. These are cute little craft sets for three pounds. You've got a cat and a ghost. This is a fun costume for 15 quid. Inflatable spider. This is quite a good piece for the garden. It's made of metal. And you've got witches too. You poke those into the lawn. I think that's good. I wonder how much those are. Garden stakes. I think that's these for two pounds. But yeah, I think these are fab because they're made out of metal. Those could be quite expensive elsewhere. I feel like this one would actually scare Pumpkin, my cat, because he really doesn't like these sort of jaggedy outlines. Once um, I've shown him a few things with like a jaggedy outline like this and it, it makes him turn into this. <laughs> his tail goes up and all his fur sticks out. So yeah, I think I'll leave those. But yeah, I think that's fab. They've got dog toys for, I think these are £3.50, Christmas ones. They've also got Halloween ones. You've got LED candles for £2 for a three pack. And then you've also got these outdoor string lights for six quid. 20 LEDs and it's 5.7 metres, solar powered. They've got a halogen heater for £12 with two heat settings. Hmm, I wonder how much it is to run that. Seems like a good price for a little heater. This is good for £1 to put around your windows to stop any drafts coming in. The DIY section here is always pretty good value. Definitely worth looking at if you're needing any tools and things. They've got doggy mince pies, two for two pounds. How sweet. And they've also got a pet advent calendar for dogs. We've got cat toys here from one pound and spider cat toy for one pound 50. These paints are a fiver. You've got classic magnolia and you've also got brilliant white. I think these would be really handy. You just need to do some touch-ups. Um, yeah, for five pounds for two and a half litres. These serving boards are £1.50. Then you've got these wooden various spoons and spatulas for a pound each. Sorry, a pound for a three set. These would be good for kids crafts as well. You could make little wooden spoon dolls with those and different things. Don't know what else you'd make with them, but you could get creative, couldn't you? And you've got a three pack like that. You could paint them up, do some Halloween ghosts or something. So we have lots of party stuff in here. Foil balloons are a good price in this shop and nice decorations for a pound. Party poppers, I haven't seen those for a long time. £1.50. Got these different tablecloths for a pound each. Seems pretty good value. And then we're moving on to some chocolates. Hey, that's good, isn't it? £1 for a box of milk tray if you wanted to just give somebody a little thank you gift. And these are two for two pounds. These different liqueurs, rum, Irish cream and cherry. And we've got old school black magic. I love these for two pounds. They've got lots of cards in store. I find Card Factory much better value, to be honest. You can normally get 10 for a pound in the Card Factory and they're kind of a similar quality. So it's worth stocking up in there if you want some kind of various uh, birthday cards and thank you cards and that sort of thing. Cardi Icer is one pound. They've also got these winter ice kits. Not sure how much those ones are, but yeah, I don't have a car, so I'm not familiar with the price of that, but it seems pretty good value. I've got a festive fingers no, collection for three pounds. <laughs> this seems good. A Christmas pudding for two pounds, and that's 400 grams. Wow, infused with cider too. I've got Milka choc and cake and choc bars at five for one pound 25. I haven't seen those before. Yeah, obviously it's all the drinks and loads and loads of sweets in here. Loads of stuff is a pound still. And I've got the Milka, which I love. Just having a little look at the prices 
of the food in the fridge. Let's see what that's like. We've got Cathedral City here, 350 grams for three quid. Tiramisu, wow. Two tiramisu for £1.25. You've got things like apples. It's like quite a big bag there for one pound. Yeah, a kilogram of apples. Got bacon in store for one pound and a little gammon joint for two pounds twenty-five. I bet you could pop that in a slow cooker. So I hope you enjoyed that look around in store with me. So now let's see everything that I bought. The first thing, well, actually, let me just crack this open because that's probably one of the first things I did pick up when I was in there. 60p of can of Diet Coke is in store. So cheers, everybody. Happy Sunday if you're watching this on Sunday. Mm-hmm. I hope you're having a good weekend. It's been a rainy day in London today. Um, right then, let's start off with some tissues. I picked up these, you would have seen them in store, one pound for eight of the Kleenex Balsam. I also went for the banana shampoo. Um, this one was a pound as well. I'm doing that thing again, but um, I don't need to because I'm filming on my phone today. Um, let's give it a sniff. I didn't do that in store. Oh, see what that's like. Very, very, it's banana-y, but kind of like those sweet bananas, you know those little sweets that are bananas, banana sweets? It smells like those. Um, I got some Lemsip. These were, I think, £1.25 for eight. They're the daytime cold and flu relief. I also got some toothpaste. They've got Colgate for £1 for 100 mil, which is pretty good. Often it's 75 mil for £1 these days. The sure deodorant that I always use, that is still £1 in Poundland. And also found some tea lights. I thought these were good for 25. You've got a burn time of three and a half hours on those, just unscented ones for £1. And then this decoration, how nice is this? I couldn't resist this. I think this was £1.50 or £1.25. I think it was £1.50. Um, yeah, I just thought that was stunning. <laughs> Give the video a thumbs up if we can appreciate the level of detail on that decoration. Love it. Um, I also got some socks. So a three pack for two pounds of the men's socks. And I've heard good things about Poundland socks, but I don't think I've ever tried them before. So I thought I would do that. I would try them. Um, I got some batteries. These are two pounds and you get 22 of the AAAs and you also get um, 22 of the AAAs for uh, two quid, which I thought was good. And it's a good time to stock up on those. And then I got some of this stuff. So this is the expanding foam weather strip. Um, you've got 10 mil by five meters, I think it is. Yeah, so 10 mil and then five meter roll. And this is great to fill gaps between doors and frames, makes your home more energy efficient, which is something that we're all thinking about at the moment. Self-adhesive backing, durable and flexible. So for a pound, I thought that could be a good little investment for us to pop around those drafty cracks and gaps in our homes. I picked up these just because I thought they looked like a vibe with Halloween coming up. Six terrifying toffee twirls from Mr. Kipling. I think those were £1.25, if I remember correctly. You might have seen them in the footage already, so don't need to tell you the prices. Um, I've also picked up this little easel, which is really sweet because I haven't got them to hand, but I've got some little tiny like Polaroid instant photos of the kittens, and they're just kind of like lying around. So I thought it'd be quite sweet to prop one of them on there. Um, yeah, and for 50p, they also do the tiny little um, canvases for 50p as well. So I just thought that was really cute. And then, oh my goodness, the mugs in store. How incredible are they? So I picked up this one, which is a one from the Hocus Pocus um, 2 collection, isn't it? Do you know what? I haven't even seen the film. I haven't seen the first one. I can't believe it. Everyone talks about it. How did I miss out on that? Anyway, it's on my list. But I got this one that says Broom Squad for £3. And then this... I just think this is brilliant. I think these are gonna sell out. How cute is this for two quid? You cannot argue with that. It reminds me of the sort of mug that you would see in Anthropology. The detail on it, just really simple, nice white kind of creamy color, but then with the gold detailing, and then it's just little rosy cheeks. How cute, two quid, I mean, come on. The others were quite nice as well, but the snowman, this is exceptional, I think. Let me know in the comments if we are feeling the snowman for two pounds. And then I got some dishwasher tablets, as I said, in store, really good for cleaning the oven with. Don't have a dishwasher, but they are fantastic for cleaning ovens and it will work out at 10p per clean, which is pretty good. One pound for those. And then last thing I got, most expensive item, 
it is this. Now it's a quartz heater, 800 watt, um, two heat settings. It's very lightweight. Um, I'm gonna have a little look at the reviews on this before I unbox it, just to make sure that, you know, it's, um, it's decent enough. But I thought for 12 pounds, for a little heater that could be really handy this winter. I know a lot of us aren't gonna be putting the central heating on um, so much and that sort of thing. So this might be a good one just to pop on for a little while. So I'm gonna have a little look at the reviews and yeah, see how I go. But yeah, very lightweight, it hardly weighs anything. So I'm imagining it's quite small, but I'm just gonna check those before I do unbox it. And yeah, I just thought while I was in there, while I saw it for 12 pounds, it'd be worth bringing that home and just checking. I couldn't be bothered to, um check the reviews in store because I was busy vlogging. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll do that and I'll let you know how I get on with it if I keep it. Um, yeah, I just thought it'd be a nice one to, you know, like pop under the desk or something just to warm your legs up. It's that sort of size, isn't it? So yeah, I shall keep you posted. And then I swung into One Below, which is a bit like Poundland, isn't it? You might have a One Below near you. I think they're really good in there. I think they actually sell a lot of the same sort of stock or maybe it's like X Poundland or Pound Shop stock. I'm not sure, but most things in there are similar prices to Poundland, probably a little bit cheaper, I think. Um, I got this, I thought this would be handy um, in case of a power cut, and it is a head torch. This was one pound, I think, and um, it just takes batteries, and <laughs> caps are going wild. Um, yeah, it just takes batteries and a head torch can be handy, can't it? It says ultra bright, um, nine LED, and it's just got like a strap on it. So I thought, do you know what, for a pound, it'd be handy to pop that in the, um, in the little boiler cupboard in case of a power cut. And then I also got this. I thought this would be good to hang up like a, oh my goodness, what are you doing Mittens? Mittens is investigating the mug, <laughs> the snowman mug. Um, this I thought would be good for hanging up things like brooms and stuff, um, but I realised I picked one up without the little stopper on it, but never mind. Um, yes, and you just screw it in the wall, and it, but all sorts of things. This is good for bicycles, ladders, hoses, tools, holds up to 30 kilograms, and these are only a pound. So I'm gonna see how I get on with this. I might buy a few more. And the last thing I got, which I think this was, I think one pound 50. I remember thinking that was really reasonable. Um, it's this little wooden coat rack. Um, it says it includes fitting. Oh, it means the screws, I think. Um, so you've got, five little hooks on here. I'm not sure how strong it would be for coats, like for heavy coats, but I've actually bought this to screw inside of my bathroom cupboard, which is made out of MDF. And I thought inside that cupboard, because it's quite deep along the side, it would be good for hanging up things like my tanning mitts <laughs> and stuff like that for the bathroom. So, and it would sort of be out of the way so no one's gonna see it, but I thought I could coffee stain that and make it look a bit nicer. But it's pretty nice, isn't it, for the price? I thought that was really good. I don't see these in Poundland anymore. So if you're after one of these, yeah, check out One Below. Um, and that is all the bits that I got in Poundland and One Below. I just wanted to quickly show you as well my new slippers because some of you might be into slippers like I'm into slippers. <laughs> I've had these ones for such a long time. These are my Ugg slippers. I think I've honestly had them for about maybe more than three years, I'm not sure. I wore them all the way through the renovation. I've worn them for loads of DIY, hence little paint splatters in there. There's candle wax on them. I thought they're kind of like getting to the end of their life. Although, do you know what? They're actually fine still for like going out, taking the bins out, that sort of thing. But I just thought I'd have a little look. And I found that they have an outlet on the UGG site, which I didn't know existed. And I managed to get the same pair. Usually these are around 80 pounds and I've never seen them in the sale before. But I saw them in this colour, in their outlet, exactly the same, and with a 10% discount as well, when you go onto their site, you just sign up for the newsletter and it'll give you a discount immediately. It literally just pops up. So do that as well if you're shopping with them. And these worked out then with the delivery at 50, I think it was like 51 pounds. So quite a hefty saving. And I just can highly recommend these because they're such good quality and they are so comfortable. Um, so if you have a chap in your life or if you are a chap that is after some slippers, this pair I think um, are really, really good for that price. So I'm gonna link them in the um, description box, but also I'll link the outlet as well because they've got loads and loads of Ugg boots, Ugg slippers, um, they've got men's boots, they've got um, you know the women's classic Ugg boots, all different kinds. I think the slippers were starting at around 30 pounds for women's in the outlet. So it's that time of year, isn't it? They make lovely Christmas presents. And I just thought if any of you are in the market for some new slippers. Oh, they smell so good as well. 
you know, and they're just new. Oh, and that's the other thing as well. Because they're sheepskin, they don't smell. You know, some slippers, if they're synthetic, look at me just sniffing them, <laughs> um, can start to smell a bit, can't they? And they just end up, you know, breaking after a while, don't they, sometimes, if they're cheap. So I think these are a good investment, um, and they're very, very cosy. The kittens absolutely love them. They love to try and, like, nuzzle their faces into them. Um, so yeah, highly recommend them. Um, tried and tested, as I say, good quality. And the, this colour, which is like this grey, which I think is rather nice, it goes with my dressing gown, um, is currently available in all the men's sizes in the outlet. So I just thought I'd share that with you too. Um, but that is it, that is everything that I've got to show you. So enjoy the rest of your weekend if you're watching this on Sunday. Hope you enjoyed the little bonus vlog. And we are off. We're not off anywhere. I'm off to the sofa, it's just right there. And we're going to have a little cosy afternoon, aren't we? Doing not much. Mm. Right then, <laughs> I'm going to go. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every single week. And thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you soon. Bye.